Hey guys, welcome um, to the Sean Linton Talk Show. I'm your host. Now, I would like today to talk about the uh, not only moving forward in life, but the transition. You know, I was talking to a mentee last night and I was actually talking about the difference between making a judgment between the transitional process and to the actual outcome. You know, even the Bible said, judge nothing before it's time. What is talking about that there is a time limit that, that has been allocated to um, a particular uh, test or a particular transition. So while it's in the process of the transitional process, I call it, you can't really labor it. You can't judge it, you, it because you, you, you don't know how it's going to turn out. Even, you know, growing up, I could see my mom do that. You know, she never really um, re reprimanded us harshly um, for the first or the second. You know, she there is a measurement that is there. Life is also like that. There is a measurement. So I was explaining to that mentee and I knew that I was going to do this um, video today to encourage people. And I would just like to say shortly, I am as a public speaker, as a, you know, mentor, uh, a confident coach and a counselor, you know, and a spiritual, uh, a spiritual advisor. You know, this is the job I do. This is never to get back at anybody. This is not talking about anybody. This is not personal. This is a job that I do, you know, at my age now. And I was um, always working not only in the uh, into charity and humanitarian capacity, goodwill work, but to work in um, the capacity of the church. And within that, you know, you counsel every day. I've been doing that as a child because we all have been gifted for different things. My gift is uh, that exactly what I do. And as a gift that I do, just to make it clear, this is about the restoration, the empowerment, the inspiration and the liberation of the soul and the mind and the emotions of people that want to be set free. This is not, it hasn't got a twisted or a perverted. On this page, we haven't got time for that. Our job is to always encourage and to move forward. And this is the, and this is the essence. This is the message. This is the, um, the motto of this show. Because in everything you do, what well, it has a spirit behind it and one has to make sure that that spirit is express is expressly you know is or explicitly clear it is very much clear that all um is able to you know everyone is able to be able to see and it is your choice if you want to click on if you want to learn if you want to but this is very much about empowerment to all and what we are talking about today is to do not see yourself and others in the past light. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the past. Because we are going through a transitional process, you change every day. Now, there are people who are stuck in the law of the past, the law of the past. Now, I want to say that even... If I should go according to the law, you know, when somebody is innocent until founded guilty. Now, when that person has been tried and convicted by the court of law, by the legal system that is set up in the country to govern its people. Now, when that person have done his sentence and been released on parole, have been released back into society, that person have, have a ready um, serve their time. Now, it goes both ways. We understand that people are not necessarily going to take, that person is going to struggle. Now, sometimes that is the reaction or that is just the, um, the, 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 the for every action, there's a reaction. You know, we have to be responsible and accountable. And even though one has paid the crime, but sometimes um, you're not going to be as free um, without that conviction. So th this is the reason why as individual citizens living, we have got a responsibility to our to the way that we live and the way that we um, function in society, in community, in family, and within ourselves. You know, and uh, because we are responsible, you know, we are very much responsible 
that's uh, where that is concerned. So uh, 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 for, for, for that person will struggle. You will struggle. You will struggle uh, uh, a lot. But it, it, that person fundamentally has paid the price. Now, it is within the right of that person to free their mind and yourself and to move on to perfection. Because it is very difficult for a lot of people, many people, to see beyond the past, to see beyond. Some people judge people for things that is 5 years, 15 years, 20 years, 45 years. And they will even judge him until death, even without facts or without any sort of um, interaction with the person because some, most times I would like you to know and I'm trying to liberate people's mind it has to do with the person themselves you know it's a lot of time it has to do with the person themselves that is a, a thing that is inside of them and they deal with that issue vicariously, you know. They deal with it um, evading reality, you know. If they, if I would talk about yours, then mine will disappear. If I would highlight yours, then mine will, won't be seen. If I can embarrass you, then I can try to live in, in, in a, 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 a esteem. But that is false. All of that is false um, in, in its entirety. You know, being truthful is when you live in the life Light of yourself, not others. See others in a good light because you got to remember God is a God overall and God is watching everybody and everyone has got their day in court. It is called time and time comes to everybody. So my encouragement to everybody is that do not see yourself, free yourself, forgive yourself, love yourself. I know some um, sometimes there are issues that are more uh, uh, um, easy to pass over or to get over than others. But I would say to you at the end of the day, it, once you're alive, once you are alive and well, I would ask you to forgive yourself and move on. Move on in the liberty and in the freedom of light and the life of the spirit of liberation. Move on and keep moving on because you're still alive. You know, you owe it. You owe it to the giver that has given you life. You owe that to be grateful, to utilize what is given to you. And by you utilizing, it will give you the gift to maximize and you will keep on working and doing because you are grateful and thankful for the life that you have given. You have to forgive yourself and other people and also to see others, forgive others also. Even in the Our Father prior, prior it says, "Forgive, uh, uh, um, forgive others, uh, uh, um, as I uh, forgive me my trust, as I forgive others." You know, so you have to forgive yourself, and you have to also forgive others. You know, forgive, forgiving others um, is. Uh, I know people are gonna say, "Well, it's not easy. Uh, nothing in life is easy. Nothing in life is that is so is." Um, a walk in the park. <laughs> it takes some going through. But you have to, in order for you to truly live life, one has to forgive. You know, you've got to forgive yourself and then forgive others. And then you see them in the light, the light of the presence, not the past, not the past. There are people that don't know people, never met people, never talk to people, never even have a one minute conversation with somebody. But they have got a dark and a very um, perverted uh, concept or perception of the person. Now, you understand, in order for you to be successful in life, those baggage and those extra, extra, um, extra unnecessary weight the Bible will describe them as, must be gone. And you must see people in order for you to uh, just enjoy nature, enjoy the trees, the birds, the here, the atmosphere. Just go on and enjoy what has been given to us because we understand that we are not here forever. And there, we, we know that there is a right way to live. And one of the way, one of the ways that we can truly have a good impact is to forgive yourself and others. 
and then you will realize that you become lighter mentally. Your eyes, your spiritual eyes, your emotional eyes, your psychological eyes, your philosophical eyes, your eyes that is um, uh, will be illuminated and your pathway become bright and you become so light and your entire perception through life within life would be change. See people, see yourself in the now, in the law of the now. It's called the law of the now. What is that person saying now? What are you saying now? What is your heart saying now? Who are you today? You don't have to be the same all your life. You know, I'll tell you this. Uh, success means you're ever-changing. The Bible, the Bible speaks it best by saying that you change from glory to glory to glory. Every day you do change. And in any successful business in the commerce world, they do evaluate, they got analysts that are working very hard privately to change policies and systems on a daily basis. A daily basis. You know, I'm saying to you that I would like you to survive. I would like you to fundamentally fly. There's a song they fly without wings. It is possible. R. Kelly said, I believe I can fly. Oh, yes, you can fly. And actually, and, and the other song say you fly without wings, and you can fly without wings too. Oh yeah. As long as you remember to release everything. Find a place and talk to yourself. Talk to your mind. Talk to yourself. See others, and you don't need to talk to them. You just need to get over it. And see people in the spirit, in the, in the light of the now. 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 It's about the now. You can't tell me that you did. What are you doing now? Can't tell me that I used to, but what are you doing now? What are you doing today? Today, today, today. Some people have got issues with people 50, 40. My God. Woo. I'm sorry for you. That's a burden to carry. That's some burden. 